paint color of the year 2020. That's what we're talking about today, so let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Holly Grissel and I am a realtor with Daniel Gale Sotheby's International Realty right here in Stony Brook, New York. So paint is one of the cheapest and fastest ways to change not only the decor, but the mood in a room. Not only do realtors know it, but so do the big paint manufacturers as well. The ritual of announcing the it color of the year began with Pantone when they announced in 2000 a subtle shade of blue called Cerulean as their paint color of the year. Since then, everyone has jumped on the color of the year, or Cody, as they call it in the paint business bandwagon. Now, I could do a video that would last an hour if I named every single paint company and their color of the year for 2020, but I've decided just to pick four random companies. So here we go. Benjamin Moore's color of the year is a soft pink, and their website describes it as a fresh palette a soft rosy hue blooming with potential. The name of this color is called First Light. Sherwin Williams also agrees with Benjamin Moore that pale pink is the trend for 2020. They announced Romance as their pick. Their website describes it as a soft, dusty shade of pink. Bear decided to abandon the popular pink route and instead are embracing a 2020 color that is all about tranquility, a light green called Back to Nature that the brand describes as calm, gracious, and balanced in a way to bring the outside in. Finally, Valspar went out on a limb, in my opinion, and instead of picking one Cody, they went with 12, basically every color under the rainbow. Why? Maybe they felt it was safer to go with 12 instead of just one. By the way, Benjamin Moore must have been at the same meeting. In addition to picking a color of the year, they also picked a color trends palette of the year. I'm not even going into that. So there you have it. Four companies with their pick of color of the year for 2020. Stay tuned to future videos where I'll not only show you from a realtor's perspective, what is the best way to pick a color for your home if you're going to sell it, but also how to actually paint your house on the cheap. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Thursday, all things real estate, and you don't want to miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.